What's up guys, it's John, and I am back with another Q&A Sunday, the show where I answer your questions submitted on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Every week I give away a small prize pack to the person that submits the best question as voted per you guys, and this week's winner is Bu5050 on Instagram for his question about the SCAR 16 versus 17. So Bu5050, get a hold of me, get me your address, brother. The first question this week is from Karambit22 on Instagram, and he wants to know what is my go-to knife company. And honestly, bro, I don't have a go-to company because there are so many cool blades being made all the time. I got a couple of my favorites out here to quickly show you guys. Got the Spyderco Lum Chinese. That's a good size blade. I really, really like that. Got a Benchmade HK, again, with the big hole. Really dig that blade. Use that all the time. Beat the crap out of that. Got a Gerber that was given to me by Anna Pini. It actually has chaos engraved on the blade. Got a Kershaw Leak here with a composite blade. This is, again, a gift from Adam Pini. <laughs> he gave me some cool knives, and I really like that one as well. And then a gift from Ebbs at House of Guns. He gave me this Quartermaster uh, folding karambit, and this thing is incredible. Maybe I'll do a video on my knife collection if you guys really want to. I don't have a lot of cool stuff. These are my favorites, but uh, we shall see. The next question is from Adam Hackney on Facebook, and he wanted to know if I stockpile ammo, if so, what calibers, and how much do I stockpile? I'm gonna be straight up with you. No, the reason I don't is because I shoot too damn much. I go through ammo so quickly that I can't stockpile it. I'm constantly turning ammo. So I may reload a whole bunch, and you guys may see me putting up behind the scenes pictures, getting ammo ready, but that's because I'm doing a review or getting ready to do a review. It doesn't sit around too long. My recommendation if you're stockpiling is not which caliber, it's to get out and shoot more. If you have ammo sitting around, you don't shoot enough. Again, we have another question from Facebook, this time from a guy named Andrew DeWald, and he wants to know when the last time I bought some 22 long rifle was. And it was roughly, I wanna say May, April-ish, I don't quite remember and he wanted to know if I overpaid for it. And the simple answer is no. I was working at a gun shop. I've been working at gun shops for a couple years now, uh, until up until recently, of course. And uh, I was able to get an employee discount. Some places that I've worked may have charged a little bit too much, but uh, you know, they've gotta make their money. I completely understand why some places raise the prices. The thing you gotta be worried about is gouging, and no, I never bought from anybody that gouged. I'm not stupid, I can wait. The next question this week is from Tactical Noob 42 He asked me this on Instagram, but he's got a YouTube channel that you guys should check out. Link in the description. He wanted to know what my favorite or dream camera is. And I'll be straight up honest with you, the camera that I consider my dream camera costs as much as some people's homes do. It's a Phantom Flex from Vision Research. It's incredibly high def, slow-mo, uh, capable, and I mean, the, the thing is just amazing. There's a company called Brain Farm Media. They filmed uh, The Art of Flight, and it was absolutely stunning. Just cinematic beauty, and they did it a lot with Phantom Flex cameras. That's the one that I want the most. That thing is incredible. The capabilities are amazing. We've got another question from Instagram, this time from GamerJG18, and they want to know what gun I first ever hunted with. And that was my Remington 870 Marine Magnum with a 28-inch barrel on it. I took it out pheasant hunting, and I couldn't hit much of anything with it. If you look hard enough, it's buried deep in the archives on my channel. There's video of me shooting it. It had a Knox recoil stock on it. It was just, it was a terrible setup. I didn't know what I was doing at the time. And uh, now I would prefer to hunt with a semi-automatic shotgun or even uh, like a lever action rifle or something like that. The last question this week is from YouTube user Lead Persuasion. And they wanted to know, what is my nightstand gun? Well, honestly, it's sitting right here. This is an HK45 with the Silencer Co. Osprey 45 hanging off the front of it. I use this because it's hearing safe in most situations and it's my favorite 45 ACP pistol on earth. I love this thing more than any other 45 out there. There are other good 45s, don't get me wrong. People get really mad when I say that this is my favorite because they want me to think the way they do, but this is my preferred gun. I like this HK45 
so, so much. And obviously the can on the front of it is a necessity when shooting indoors. And now I've got something a little different. I've got a question for you guys, to some of you. Now this is not going to be for everybody. I wanna know what is so offensive to some people about asking for help. I put up a couple videos earlier this week that got more negative feedback than I have gotten in a very long time. And I, I'm kind of at a loss for words because all I did was ask for help. You know, I put up a video linking to patreon.com slash I'm with chaos saying, hey guys, if you want to give something, if you want to contribute to this, please do. If not, no worries. The content's still going to be free. And I got people saying that I was begging and I also got people saying that I was trying to get rich. Now, the guy that said I was trying to get rich, uh, he apologized for saying that because he felt like a lot of people were trying to do that, a lot of bigger channels. And the reality of the situation, guys, is that I'm not trying to get rich. I'm trying to bring better content, better videos, and, and just more for you guys. I'm trying to make this a lot of fun and financially viable. I mean, the amount of ammunition, the amount of time and travel that gets put into these videos, not just for me, but everybody that's out there making gun videos on YouTube, the amount of financial commitment on our part is huge. And, you know, all I did was ask for a little bit of help. I'm not saying give me your entire paycheck. I'm also not saying give me half of it. I'm just asking that if you want to, if you can afford it, help a brother out. That's it. And people got really offended by that. And I, I just, I'm at a loss for words. I don't understand. I'm not trying to single people out. I'm not trying to complain about this. I just want to understand the logic. I mean, why am I made out to be a bad guy when all I'm doing is asking for help? I don't think that's too much, right? Guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in to these Q&A Sundays. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I really appreciate all the feedback you guys give me. It's a wonderful thing. I love interacting with you guys on a regular basis. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, give it that old thumbs up. And if you want to contribute, go ahead and head over to patreon.com slash I'm with chaos. I appreciate it, guys. We'll see you soon.